I didn't expect that I would get that the package. It was a really good package. As a fresher, I, I have no complaints. Why I left Aeronautical is that thing. The growth is slow in India as of now. As soon as I graduated, I had two parts. One is data science or a full stack developer. Any specific difference between a BI analyst and data analyst? No, no. There will be interaction with the clients itself because so I have worked on a couple of three to four projects. So they will ask what was the output of the project, what you learned from the project, what was the difficulty faced by in the project. We all know that data related jobs are booming in the market, be it data engineering, data scientist or data analyst. And things become more exciting and things become more exciting when a fresher crack data related job with more than 10 lakhs per annum package because getting a job into the data field that too as a fresher is little bit challenging if we compare it with software engineering domain and our guest speaker for today's podcast has already done it and after watching today's podcast you will also feel very very inspiring and motivated to step into the data related job profiles so our guest speaker will share his entire experience with us today so watch it till the very end and you will learn a lot of things for sure and most specifically everything about the bi analyst type of job role so like and share this podcast to spread the awareness and subscribe to the channel for more such type of content so thank you so much lokesh for joining me in this podcast and i'm really excited because your background coming from a fresher entry level fresher type of background and moving into data analytics it would be really great if you can give a short introduction to the audience and anything you want to talk about your academic and professional background my name is lokesh r so i'm a fresh graduate 2022 graduate in aeronautical domain from an title college so currently placed in a blend 360 as a business analyst you were doing your graduation in the aeronautics space so why didn't you continue with the aerospace engineering field any specific reason to quit it and move into the it industry the main reason so everyone knows that the growth the growth is very good in data science domain actually so like hoping for 5 to 6 10 years in a career you'll be in a very good stable position in bi or any data science streams uh, why i left aeronautical is that thing the growth is slow in india as of now so i don't know about future but as of now the data science domain is growing like anything so that's the reason as soon as i graduated i started this thing. why didn't you opt it for cs kind of branches or, or anything uh, which is related to let's say ece or electronics background why specifically aer- aeronautics engineering uh, when i got like engineer band selection i was very fascinated about like aircraft airplanes and all so i got like very much fascinated about it so i opted aeronautical nothing planned for like what i should do after graduation so it was fascinating to see aeronautic <laughs> so i just went through it logesh as a fresher how did you come to know about the data analytics for the very first time because you were into aerospace engineering so how did you come to know about it and what was the prime reason to choose data related job profile as your career because obviously there is software engineering as well or you want to move into something else let's say mba bba kind of thing why specifically that domain first question how did i get to know so yeah after graduation like every tier 2 tier 3 college students knows that like it has a boom apart from core company so as soon as i graduated i had two paths one is data science or a full stack developer because these two are the stream which widely were why didn't i opt it for uh, full stack is like there are huge competition for example all the cs guys or it guys who are graduates will get a job in software like so as a software developer not as data data is little less but as a full stack they will get for not full stack front end back end like somehow but data was a domain where you just not need to have like coding skills not core coding you even have to like have a knowledge about what you say domain knowledge how to play with the data uh, these kinds of things will come into the figure like in future even you get stats other different different kinds of thing so this was the core reason why i opted for data not for full stack no so as you see you can play with the data you get to know about like what client you are working you get to know some insights about companies also the domain knowledge you going to work in very very vast domains not you go on a fixed in specific domain like if you are working in a pharma project you going to get know about something about pharma if in fnc companies or retail business companies you going to work in like vast domains you will get idea about everything coming from a complete non cs background i specifically do not know how much cs is involved in the aerospace engineering but since it's not related to computer science specifically i'm treating it like a non cs type of background so how did you prepare yourself to become a bi analyst what all important skill sets did you acquire step by step 
to become job ready so in academics i had like very basic knowledge about python i guess because there are some coding related stuff in aeronautical also so uh, but not other data science related stuff even in python it's very basic so uh, so this was my starting so as soon as i joined odin school they start with my stats the very beginning uh, topic was statistics because that's also important very important topic in data science everything overall so as soon as compared with stats they started with sql so sql basically used for dbms dot data management systems and all so after as soon as we completed this thing they started with my python so python it's not just basic python coding and all there are a lot of things you have to learn many libraries and all so uh, like this and there are uh, data visualization tools like power bi tableau so you have to be fluent with this thing so as a fresher you like people will always have a doubt like will be able to cry, like learn this person or crack it it's not so hard believe me so uh, i come from non tech only so with least knowledge so it's very easy not very easy i won't uh, code that thing but yeah with practice you will definitely crack it just uh, believe on the process uh, just go on have practice uh, like win ability like some of the abilities cannot be taught by anybody you should learn it like problem solving like if they give some questions you have to be able to build that logic logic cannot be taught by anybody like in, in, in anywhere in the world they can't be taught you can get some problem statement like anybody can treat you they'll give some problem statement you can solve like this but while in companies they give something different completely different there'll be new problem statement you should be able to build the logic so that thing you should learn in a uh, language can be learned by anybody the logic should be learned by yourself that's all visualization tools part important for freshers like based on your interview experiences do you do you feel that there will be too much weightage for the visualization tool or it's basically for the experience part no no for freshers also you should have knowledge about it the companies expect you should have like uh, not like expert level at least uh, medium or uh, basic level you should know that there will be lot of people who might only know three domains let's say data engineer data scientist and data analyst so since your designation is bi analyst i just want to know is there any specific difference between a bi analyst and data analyst if yes then how they are different with each other yeah there is a slight difference data analyst is the one who just plays with the data like give some insight about data but in comes of bi analyst you will be morely focusing about business uh, like your client will be a business guy and he will uh, he will have some questions like why in this term mr or in this month uh, this product is not going what is the reason find out this thing so they'll give you your data and you have to occupy other data too like you have companies will give you so you you should be able to answer this why you are not getting these sales in this particular domain and this particular region and you should be able to solve this thing so that's the main business intelligence is that's the reason bi or is there any specific difference in the tools and tech stack as well like let's say data uh, analyst is using something very specific and bi analysts are also using something very specific uh, no in tools no mm -hmm. but in domain definitely yes as a bi analyst or a, as a data analyst do we get chance to interact with the customers and the clients very closely do we work with them very very closely or we just focus on the let's say technical part of it data extraction and creating the dashboards so how is it work there uh, no no there will be interaction with the clients itself because uh, the data will be completely different we because the domains are different if you are passing we may be come technical but the data which we comes is something different like uh, there will be some numbers we don't know what the number is even indicating so we will be working with them we will one to one interaction will be going on so it's fun job like you'll get to know a lot of knowledge about different vast domains actually so do you enjoy taking those client calls and having interactions with them or sometimes you feel it boring no no it, it, it is entertaining because of your educational background like did you face any challenge and difficulties to acquire technical skills like python sql or uh, any dashboarding tool if yes then what were those difficulties and how did you tackle them at starting you will definitely face because it will complete new you like it's like basically you are learning something new new thing so there will be hurdles like you, you may not understand what's the like if you are writing a code what is this code you, you may not be able to but gradually you have to practice it like slow steady is the race the same thing you have to practice it 
again and again if you are not getting it out there are mentors to teach it uh, so i was lucky to have in odin school that i had like doubt clearing sessions every time they used to give me quizzes they used to give assignments so this gradually helped me to practice it out so yeah so simply uh, in sum up practice it that's all you will get it so would you like to point out that one specific skill which troubled you a lot at the last like almost completion of this course i had my ml the course this thing so there were a lot of libraries coming into it lot of concepts new new concepts were coming into it so before going to that you you know like what is coding you you will be able to code but the concept what they are like there are so many concepts built in so understanding that and implementing that using the python so that was actually difficult level uh, difficulty to be honest so as i mentioned practice it spend time with that spend time with python spend time with uh, coding spend time with the logic buildings you will surely like most companies prefer freshers mm-hmm. who have some experience with real world projects and it happens because they want to focus more on your dev skills so what exactly. kind of projects did you work on and do you think it actually helped you to crack your job interviews or it was just companies focusing more on the theoretical aspect of the technical skills no, no. Uh, project will definitely help you out actually uh, company will uh, somehow uh, they will even test you in theoretical knowledge also how much concepts you are ready with and the projects mean why companies look at is how you are working like knowing concept is different applying is different so how you have applied it in your projects this thing so i have worked on a like couple of 3 to 4 projects given by odin school itself so they were capstone projects so one was in ml one was in uh, eda eda means exploratory data analysis projects and a couple of thing i have done out of this uh, after odin school projects also i have done personal projects also like looking into youtube other kind of stuffs i have done that too so companies will ask like uh, you have to mention in resume that projects will play very important role believe me to getting shortlisted also projects will play important role so in, in the interviews like uh, do interviewers sort of focusing on on your project they were very interested to know how it works like was there in ded- dedicated round for it not dedicated uh, you will get a round like where face to face interview will go on uh, they will evaluate your resume each and every time you mentioned in your resume they will screw down in the that thing so they will ask what was the output of the project what you learned from the project what was the difficulty faced by in the project so these kind of things definitely they will ask if you mention so i would prefer to say like if you have worked on the project do mention it don't lie it and don't mention any fake projects everything because they will ask you was there any moment where interviews were like no this is like a simple capstone project or a hands on project how much value you will be able to add because of these hands on project because not related to some real world use cases do companies like uh, do that kind of tantrums in the interviews uh, no no companies won't do that the basic the main reason for the project is how much you have implemented that's it, it it's it's applicable for real world they won't see like that the basic uh, project is like evaluation tool for them like how you have applied your logics how you have applied your concept theoretical concept in, in that thing so mm-hmm. it's not that uh, it should be like industry level project no it should the project should be like you have used all the theoretical concept what thought to you like that will help industry or not some of industry will again train you because every industry has different kinds of requirements according to their projects in hand so they evaluate it that's all this is very good evaluation tool for interviewers would you like to share your interview experience as well um, in let's say you have interviewed at two three companies so overall how do you see the interview process for the freshers with respect to the data analyst or the bi analyst uh, type of job role how many rounds in each round what kind of questions a candidate can expect so basically you will get some technical round before going to interview they will be some technical round based on the company required they may be sql they may be python or other uh, bi also like bi tools means power bi tableau so they will first technical round they will evaluate you there itself like they will, they will have a shortlisting criteria you have to clear it up so yeah with some practice you will so after clearing these things uh, you will get an interview round so in interview round also they will, uh, some companies prefer to have technical round then hr round no because they have to evaluate your personality as well and the technical knowledge not just having technically uh, tuned is not enough they will even tune your personality because corporate world requires like that kind of personalities 
so uh, depends on company to company some may have different technical round or some may merge both technical as well as hr round in one interview itself mm -hmm. so yeah so in technical rounds you may expect to have like basic technical knowledge and they may even like uh, what to say give some challenges like uh, code like not code in directly through output just in a chat box uh, they'll ask you to type the code they see how your logic building is how tuned you are with the uh, whatever technical thing they are asking so they will ask and even the theoretical questions concepts also they will ask so they will tune you like based on how you your answer based on your answer they will lag like the more you give output they will again and again asking on that thing also mm -hmm. so technical round goes on like that and in personality round uh, they will again like check your personality check your uh, how um, proactive are you how your behavior is how you handle your pressures everything they they will check like like because interviewer are there for that thing because they have taken n number of interviews mm -hmm. they know how to evaluate you they will evaluate you. with respect to technical part do they ask complex questions of programming and the python or they focus much more on the advanced sql side mm, uh, they will morely uh, because uh, some companies work on python some companies work on sql so what the company what i got selected blend we morely focused upon sql they asked me sql questions only not much on python uh, the all the round technical rounds to go on were sql only so even in the interview they ask sql so they it's not like they're gonna ask like n number of questions they'll ask like some couple of questions but that couple of questions will have all the concepts they will include like blend all the output of that question would be uh, 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 what to say including all the technical concepts like sql is language you should be able to like there are n number of concepts including in that thing sql only so the output of that question would be having mixture of everything. How much salary are you getting as a fresher for BI analyst role? Also, do you think uh, like whatever salary you are getting is a good start for you or your expectation was uh, completely very different? Yeah, it's actually very good salary for a fresher. I didn't expect I will get that much of salary. Uh, you can expect in a range of uh, uh, the lowest is six and the highest would be somewhere around you'll get it packaged some 12 to 15 you may expect like that range you can expect easily i didn't expect that i would get that the package it was a really good package as a fresher i, I have no complaints cool i think this is really great and uh, this will give a really really great motivation to all the aspiring data analysts bi analysts who are watching this podcast and want to move into that field seriously so yes opportunities are there for fresher locates have already done it so now it's your turn and i hope you have uh, noted down all the important key takeaways from this podcast you can also enroll yourself to the upcoming boot camps of uh, odin school link is in the description because it will definitely help you to transform your career so thank you so much lokesh for joining and sharing your wonderful experience with us i personally enjoyed it and i'm hoping the audience would also enjoy it more thank you so much Shashank, for having me in the podcast so that is what i had in this podcast make sure to like this podcast and share it with your fellow friends and if you are new to the channel then smash the subscribe button and press the notification icon i will see you guys really soon with really amazing podcast till then just keep exploring data